I don't even know what to say for this intro. This is actually so weird, and I can't even believe this actually happened. So basically, to summarize it, as you can see in the title, as you guys saw in that very brief clip in the beginning, somebody sent me a video yesterday of an actual Eugene situation that happened in at their school like this was a IRL Eugene like I want to make sure you comprehend that right you know what I think it's just better if I just show you the full video now then we talk about it so let's play the clip <laughs> what the hell <laughs> guys guys please Bro. come here <laughs> So that was the full clip. Now, real quick, before we get into it and break this down, let me just ask you this question first. I saw this comment right here as the top comment on my video like two days ago, and 500 plus likes on a comment is quite a lot, especially considering this was a normal comment, right? This is this is pretty rare on YouTube these days to see a normal comment like this. And at 500 likes, I was like, you know, that's actually a lot of people, especially for a comment that's not like, uh, like this to fuck Selena Gomez, ignore her for 10 years of bad luck. Look, you know what I'm saying? So let me just ask everyone what they think because if you guys actually want this, I'm down. I can have it done. These t shirt companies have been hitting me up for like a year trying to get me to make shirts. I never really cared about it or anything like that. But people have been hitting me up more and more to actually make some shirts. So I was like, you know what? Let me just ask the question to everyone, see what everyone thinks. But let me just say this. All right, there's a couple guidelines here. Number one, I'm not trying to have some nerdy game and shit. You know what I'm saying? No offense to all the people out there. You know, I'm not trying to be mean but i'm not gonna say any names or anything but i've seen some of the apparel that people make and i'm just like dude i'm sorry like nothing against you personally man but i can't be seen wearing that bro that's a that's a good chance you get bullied wearing that no i'm no offense i mean that in the nicest way possible all right they just put something way too far for me on there all right i i don't know for example they could put like a, a quad headshot feed and put the word like quick scope on there you know just something super fucking crazy cringy like that. I don't know if anyone has ever made a shirt like that. If you did, my bad. I just completely made that off the top of my head. But do you guys understand what I'm saying? Like, I'm not trying to make some nerdy shit. So I was looking at the replies to the comment and people were saying I should just make shirts with all my different phrases, like all the phrases that we use on the channel. For example, uh, this shit ain't adding up. Let me catch my son. Tired of these females lying, like all those sort of things. And I was thinking about, I was like, you know, that's actually like kind of perfectly what I was looking for. You know, it's not really like some nerdy shit and it's just it's simple right like I don't know how to make it but I think just like text on a shirt and as long as it like it looks nice and clean still I think that would be fun like does it even need an image I don't know so here here's where you come in just leave some comments down below on what type of stuff you would actually be looking for just leave me all the ideas that you have of stuff that you would actually buy and wear all right don't just be putting some crazy shit down there and I'll look at the comments and we'll discuss this over the next few days i'll probably look at all the comments and make like a poll of all the options that people want and then we can vote on it or something and i'll, I'll pick like the top five designs or something, something like that we'll figure it out but just let me know what type of stuff you actually want and uh we'll go from there i'm in no rush to get this done i'm not not concerned about the money or anything like that like i could have made shirts like a year ago there's people who make fucking shirts when they hit like 50k subs and it's just like dude who the fuck is gonna buy your shirt but no one What's buying your shirt dude you're at 50k settle down but we know where your fucking mind is at but anyways i'm not worried about like the money or nothing like that so this this might take a while to get all this done i just want to make sure if i actually do this it gets done correctly you know what i'm saying so anyways let's get back to the video i just wanted to add that in here because i didn't really want to make a whole separate video just to discuss that so i figured i'd just throw it in here and uh, we'll discuss it over the next few weeks and we'll see what happens but back to the video now back to the eugene situation so let's just get a little recap here all right let's get a little breakdown as you guys saw it was a bunch of people in the classroom they were all like huddled up in a corner and there was a cop outside it looked like he had some sort of assault rifle or something i don't know it was a big ass gun all right it wasn't just like his normal pistol that they carry around maybe it was just like an ar-15 or something i don't know i'm sure somebody in the comments can probably identify it and basically they had an active 
Eugene situation and they were all on lockdown and I guess the cops were outside patrolling the campus trying to find Eugene. You know, he probably should have called in a UAV. I don't know. Was Eugene wearing ghosts? <laughs> Who knows? But as you saw later, he turns to the classroom and you can see like they're all in the corner or whatever. And the lady comes on the speaker and says... So, as you can see, we definitely have ourselves a code, Eugene. Now, I'm sure you have a lot of questions, so I'm going to try to answer them. First of all, I do believe this is real. I'll give you guys a quote of exactly what the guy said to me because I talked to him about it, and he said nobody was hurt, which is good. He said after the cops showed up, they actually ended up getting the guy, so I guess there was a legit Eugene at this school with his AK and everything. I don't know. That's fucking crazy. But then on Twitter, some other guy said that that was his school and it was just a drill or whatever and that actually does make a lot of sense i could definitely see that being a pretty high possibility as well uh but at the same time like anyone could really just say that so i don't know what the hell the story is on this either way if it was real or not i think it's just hilarious honestly i hope it was just a drill man because if you're actually like in a serious situation like that i don't want you to like be videotaping it and then get fucking headshotted by eugene you know what i'm saying uh because if this wasn't a drill and there was actually a Eugene there in real life, you know, I'm like, Eugene wasn't trying to wait until November 4th, fam. He was trying to prestige right now. He got the game early, okay? So you can't be videotaping Eugene, man. Next thing you know, you know, you're trying to videotape him. My dude had the fucking El Gato out in real life, was trying to videotape Eugene playing Call of Duty at school. And next thing you know, like, this is virtual reality, fam. Eugene about to turn around and drop shot you in. You ain't gonna respond, so... You... Alright, let me quit. That was, that was maybe way too far with the analogy, but you get what I'm saying? Like, you gotta chill on that. So, let me just wrap this up with a serious note, alright? Whether this was real or not, I don't know. It was probably just a drill, but if it was real and it was actually, like, a dangerous situation at your school, man, I'm happy that you are okay. But let me make a public service announcement here. How should I say this? Um, if you ever find yourself in a real-life Eugene situation, situations such as this one please do not put yourself in any sort of danger or compromise your safety in any way attempting to get a picture or a video of the situation especially not for me like please don't think you need to do that for me all right because this shit ain't a joke when it's actually happening you know what i mean this is real life now in this situation it did seem like he was pretty safe i don't think he was in any danger at any point during this video the story turned out well i don't even know if the story is real or not but you never know man all right crazy shit happens every day anything can happen so i'm just like letting you know on behalf of myself like don't go around like trying to videotape eugene when he got his ak out you know what i'm saying are we are we on the same page here when when i say that all right don't do nothing too crazy so yeah that's pretty much it and i guess our lesson for today is to never forget the golden rule and actually speaking of the gold let me just throw this in here real quick i saw this comment on a video like two days ago and i don't know if this was real or not i hope it's just a joke but my man said so at school today i had new classes and i reached into my bag for a pencil and two kids got up and ran all right so that's gotta be a joke right there's no way this actually happened but if this did happen man you need to probably like get a haircut and change up your outfit and stop wearing whatever the fuck it is you're wearing i don't know because apparently Apparently you look like a Eugene. I guess you're not, judging from this comment, but you look like one, alright? So get that taken care of. But at the same time, salute to the two students who got up and ran, all right? We out here saving lives. What if this was actually a Eugene and their lives were spared because they remembered the golden rule? That's pretty crazy, all right? So we could be out here saving lives. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Our lesson for today is just always remember the golden rule. So other than that, um, be sure to leave all the shirt stuff down below in the comments. I'm going to go through and read all the comments and see what people are saying about the shirts. And in the upcoming days i'll make like a poll or something and we can like vote or we'll, we'll figure something out on how to do it but just go ahead and leave all your ideas in the comment section and i'll go through and see what everyone's saying pick out the most popular ones so anyways thank you guys all for watching be sure to like rating if you enjoyed subscribe if you're not already follow me on twitter links in the description down below other than that have a good day and peace out 
you got a secret Like you victorious, I'm back on a Tuesday And fuck it feels glorious I'm on the back beat, sipping in the back seat Listening to NSYNC, no, not Backstreet Yes, I can get it on my mind, my own mind While I'm waving at the window like bye, bye, bye 